uh, crunch up. Ha hashtag. Okay, with that, Loic, take it away. Thank you, Eric. Hello, friends. My name is At Loic. Here is Yama, our uh, community manager at Seismic. And we're very, very excited to announce to you today not one, but two products. And I'm going to start by our popular, if we can get it up uh, on the screen, um, Seismic desktop, which has been downloaded nearly two million times, actually, now. And uh, here it is. And we're pushing live right now. So if you download it immediately, it should be version 0.4 as I speak, or it should self-update if you're already using it. Um, this new version has, uh, has uh, many, of course, of the features which made it uh, popular, like the fact that on your home column, the first one, there is Facebook and multiple Twitter accounts in a very single column, which is the only app that can do that this way. You can also comment on Facebook. So here is a Facebook update straight from the app. So if you can like, you can comment. And uh, we were launch partners with a new Facebook stream API. And we're already pushing a few million updates to uh, Facebook every day. Um, and so that's Seismic version 0.4. What's new in it, which is like right now, you can see those buttons here. We have re uh, answered the number one request of our users, at least as far as we understand it, by all the feedback we see, which is to make it a very small real estate application in just one click of a button. So you can see now we have one single column, and you can still access all your search, all your user lists, all your free Twitter accounts here, all your Facebook into one single column. Um, and now what we did as well for those of you who really want small screen real estate is we have this button on the top which now also shrinks the left side bar and makes it really very similar to Twill, our own application, except that it has everything into one single screen. So this is uh, Seismic version 0.4. Now, if you want, it's very flexible, too. If you want to get back to multiple columns, you can click to our very popular, uh, so one fixed column and many detached column modes. It will reconstruct exactly your settings as it was. So you can switch from one view to another one uh, at, at will. We introduce a new third mode, which is all columns are now uh, free, so you can close them. You can open them. You can do whatever you like with those columns. It's more scrolling, but some people like that. And then finally, very, very popular request is uh, change the width. This is very tough for me to say in English. Width, the width, the size <laughs> of the columns. So we can enlarge them. Here we go. <laughs> or uh, make them uh, shorter at will. So as you can see here, you can change your settings. And if you move from one single column to multiple, you will always find this. So this is uh, Seismic, uh, Seismic Desktop. And Seismic Desktop is uh, growing very nicely. And we have, uh, uh, of course, heard a lot of our users which have a very strong demand for uh, an in-browser, no-download solution, everything on the web, everything in the browser, which is what I'm happy to announce to you and show you today in preview mode. So here it is, same principle. You shouldn't get lost looking at it. So this is Seismic web base, which you can find right now on seismic.com. Um, you just go to web on the tab, and you can access it just off with Twitter. Again, it's a preview. It's, uh, we're building it, and we'd love your feedback. So you have your uh, timeline. You have your mentions. You can rearrange the columns. Maybe can we switch one column to the left? Here we go. As, as, as much as you want. Uh, you have your saved search on the left which are synchronized to your Twitter account. So if you create a new search and you save it, we save it on the Twitter API. It's going to be saved there as well. And you can type here crunch up. And now enter. And you get a new column with this search. Um, and you can save it, get it on the left. And it saves it on Twitter as well. So all synchronized with Twitter. This is search. Obviously, uh, what, we, uh, what we added is, uh, Yama, if we can have a look now at your private messages. Uh, we have this. So this is a UI where we separated the private messages completely from the main UI, the main call UI, so that you are not confused with what's private and what's public. And you can see this uh, popular view for conversation, uh, I am like, uh, which you can have also as many columns as you want, and you can also reorganize them and rearrange them as you, as you like, at will. Come back to home. 
Now we're very uh, happy to present also a new view, which we were inspired by our request from our customers, is for our users. If you go now to single column, this is a very mail-like uh, interface that we've created for those of you who are extreme about having as many tweets as possible in one single screen. So it's great for netbooks, for example, because you can have many tweets in one single space. And you can do exactly uh, anything with it. You can change with the left uh, navigation. You can favorite, favorite uh, any tweet here. You can, uh, here we go, you can open a tweet and see the details. You can see the avatar here. You can reply in line, so let's reply to one tweet. Now you can type right in there. You can add a link, and we'll obviously improve and iterate uh, on this. <laughs> And, uh, and it's, 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 uh, it's very simple to, to use, all in one place. And so that's the uh, mail-like mode, which we really like when I saw MG Sigler's post last week on TechCrunch saying, if you reach me via Twitter, you have higher chances to reach me than via mail. Well, here we go. Now we have a mail-like interface for, uh, for Twitter. And coming back now to multiple column mode, you can see the profile of a user by just rolling over a uh, username. Um, you can uh, see the full profile, uh, so here's Julianne and uh, her updates, uh, which will uh, show up in this, uh, in this tab. And you can follow and follow, and obviously we will add much more. So yeah, so um, that's basically uh, it. Again, it's a preview, you can try it today, and we hope you help us improve it as you did for a Sysmic Desktop. I should mention as well that the 0.4 version of Sysmic Desktop has many memory and CPU usage improvements. We're very happy about them, so you won't see them on the screen, but probably feel them as you try it. And um, Sysmic Web, to finish with, will be uh, synced with, uh, I'm sorry, with Sysmic Desktop in a few weeks, will be uh, real time. We're uh, going to release uh, very fast, and we have an iPhone app coming in a few weeks as well. So we hope you like it. Thank you very much. Ooh, iPhone, I like that, okay. So uh, thank you, Lo